Hi guys, this is Jazzy Rose. I'm welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a hair tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to get completely straight hair and make it into nice spiral curls just like this. So if you're interested, please continue watching. So this is a video that I have already um, posted, but I wanted to make another video doing it just because I wanted to get a little bit more into depth of how to actually really curl your hair and get those nice spiral curls. Um, I got a 1 4th inch regular curling iron and I got this from Amazon and all I did was type in 1 4th inch curling iron and this will pop up. It is, um, I think it's $14.99 if I'm not mistaken and it's, it works pretty well like for $14, $15, shit, buy it. But anyway, it's going to look like this, very thin, and it's going to have a little clamp. And I'm just going to plug it in, and I'm going to show you guys how I get my nice spiral curly hair. So before, you know, I did my makeup and everything, I just washed my hair regular, used whatever shampoo and conditioner that you would like, and then um, I let my hair towel dry for a few minutes, and then... I put in, um, this is not your mother's brand, it's Plump for Joy Thickening Hair Lifter. And I just apply some of this into my hair, just normally, just like you do with any other product before you um, blow dry your hair. And then I spray in, this is from Shea Moisture, this is uh, Daily Hair Drying, Hair Hydration Leave-In Treatment with a Coconut Oil, guys. This shit is amazing and it smells delicious too. And I just spray this into my hair, just flip it over, spray, spray, spray. And then also from uh, Shea Moisture, I use this leave-in treatment and I just apply a little bit. So I literally just take like two squirts of this and I apply it into my hand and I go like this first and then I flip it over and I go like that. I don't do anything specific, I literally like flip my hair over and just blow dry it. I run my fingers through it and this is how my hair looks. So we're gonna get started guys. I'm going to split my hair and now when you're working with the back I'm just going to take a piece well a chunk of my hair put the rest of it up so my, my broken nail guys on my hands. I know I need to get my nails done. I broke it earlier. So anyway, you gotta grab about, I would say like, you wanna do this like a half an inch just because you are doing spiral curls. So you don't wanna make it too big. And once this is hot, you're going to use this as a wand. You're not going to use the clamp at all. So you're just going to wrap it around like this, just as if it was a wand. And just hold it. Count for like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And just hold it for a second and let it go. Now you're going to take the same amount with another chunk of hair. And if they're all not even, like it's it's quite all right. Like you've never seen anybody with crazy wild hair and everything just looks so even. Like this is, you want it to look as natural as possible. So with the first piece that we just did, we went this way. Now you're gonna go the opposite way. And you're going to kind of pull this tight too, guys, and do like a twist when you're doing it, just so you're making it real tight, just like a spiral curl. And count. One, two, three, four, five. Let go. And just hold it for a second. And there you so go. I'm not going to show you guys the entire head because that's just going to be boring and long and I don't want to put you guys through that. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit and maybe till once I get like the crown of my head, I guess you would call that. I'm going to stop it because you're going to want to start taking smaller pieces because you're getting to the top of the head and you want them to be tighter and smaller. So I'm going to just put it on fast mode, let you guys see how I do it, and then I'll show you as soon as I get to the crown.
get to this point and you get to the crown of your head, you're going to separate it again, but you're going to go like in the middle like this, just like that. Put this into just a little sloppy bun. And you kind of want it to go forward, just like as if it was like, you know, an afro. You want to start to make your curls go this way. So you do take this and face this forward. And you're going to do the same thing that you were doing. You're going to go, we're going to go in this direction, doing that little twist motion and holding it. Just to get that nice tight curl. See? And then you're still going to bring your hair forward. Now going this way. And you're going to take smaller pieces as well because as you get to the top, the smaller the curls get. So, because you want everything to look real tight and then towards the bottom, it tends to get loose. So, so we're doing this real natural and make it look like we have nice spiral natural curls. And if you accidentally go twice the same direction, guys, it's really okay. It's not going to really matter. But just try to do the one way forward, one way back. And it's all right if you separate your curls because we're going to end up doing that anyway. Like I said, if you have any loose strand hairs, just, just go into it. It's okay if it's not even, guys. Like, this is going to look wild and crazy. But you don't want to have missing pieces, like just straight hair. Like, that's going to look weird. Again, you're going to split it. Oh, I have a gray hair. This is the part that really takes the longest because now you're going to really be getting into smaller pieces. And you're just going to do the same technique.
Okay, guys. Once you get to this point, you're going to go in with hairspray. Try not to use anything that's going to make your hair too hard. Um, I recommend, this is Botifying and Bamboo Fiber Full uh, Big Hairspray Foundation. Um, another one that I highly recommend as well is the John Frieda Anti-Frizz Hairspray. That works very well too. And what you're going to do is you're going to just spray this full over. Oh no, I'm missing some. It's alright. Just go back into it, guys. It's gonna happen. Trust me. So, just spray. Flip it over. And now, you're going to literally take your fingers and just brush it out. Give it a little shake. And try to make it go the way that you want it to. Give it a little shake. Well, a lot of shake. This is going to help with the volume. And now you see how like some pieces just aren't as curly as you may want them to be. You can just go right back in. And I think mostly like sometimes the front pieces get like that. And just grab and go back into them. This right here is bothering me. Just doing that same thing we were doing back and forth. Even if it doesn't look like it's going that way, it does not matter, guys. Like I said, look how crazy and wild this looks. I think this is pretty good. And now you're just going to go in with a little bit more hairspray. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.